It's Frank! It's Frank, the guy that helped me out with that... Uh... Get your daily delivery. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Let me have another tip for you. Ooh, really? Hold on. <laughs> hey, guys. Henry here at Mowers and Blowers. My buddy Frank, the UPS guy, gave me another tip. This is a Kohler 12 horsepower home light 3600 watt generator. The uh, homeowners had it in their house since Sandy. They just uh, kicked it to the curb today and boy oh boy the owner helped me uh, lift this into the thing. This is no joke. This is like five to seven hundred pounds. It had caster wheels on there and I tried putting it on the ramps and my winching system but it the caster wheels just got caught on that on the on that stuff over there so it wouldn't really budge so I had to just like slowly jiggle it up the ramps and he helped me push it and lift it and stuff it's got a full-size battery in here I've never worked on a generator ever in my life he says it's hard to start but it works um, I don't know if the battery works I don't think so because um, well, I don't know what all that stuff is a voltage selector those are circuit breakers and stuff right I'm gonna have to figure this out some other time, like maybe tomorrow or something. Battery, if you look at the gauge, it says zero amps. It's off now. When I put it to run, nothing happens. When I put it to start, it does, nothing happens. Anyway, I'll uh, fiddle with this tomorrow. I'm not gonna bother getting it off. It's uh, nighttime already. But uh, I'm not sure how much this thing is worth, but uh, if this works, Probably get a good penny for it. If anything, scrap. It's really heavy. So I managed to get this thing off my truck. Let me tell you, I was scared to lose my my toes. Seriously, I mean this thing is a beast. Beast. Uh, I put a multimeter to the battery, and it showed 0 0.054 volts. Battery is bone dead. I mean, just really dead. You know. Uh, so I, right now I'm just uh, trickling a charge in there slowly. But it uh, gives me an opportunity to check this stuff out, man. So this panel over here, you got the 120 volts with the uh, option of a 240 over here. I guess this is the gauge for the amps of the battery. As you can see, it's almost nothing, you know. I don't know if this is a sticker or if that's actually a light. So this is a switch off, run, and then upwards to start. It's one of those trigger starts, you know what I mean? It's spring-loaded. I don't really know what that's for. I mean, should that be... Should I ground that? I don't know. I checked the Earl. Looks okay. There's oil in it. I mean, could use an oil change, I guess, but... It looked okay. It wasn't like super black. It was like brown, you know? Uh, I don't see any bad connections or anything. And look, that looks like a ground, right? Unless that's just to keep it there from flying off. I've never seen anything like this. I guess this is the air cleaner. There's the carb for sure. The throttle. It's a car, old car type ignition coil. Over here, I guess that's the engine, right? Flywheels here. Small gas tank for a generator. I mean, you're gonna be filling that up all the time, you know? Look at that, it's got this huge hook on there. Like if you could use a crane to pull it up or something. You'll need a crane, let me tell you, this thing is heavy. Um, okay, I, I, I'm scared of electrical, guys. You know, always scared of electrical. I know nothing about it, or do I wanna know anything about it? So, voltage selector, 120 volts or 240 if you wanted it. And this is, I guess this is a circuit breaker. It says on. It looks just like the one in my house. These things, I guess, trip, because I've seen those on the, um, you know, octopus outlets and stuff like that, you know, because it makes it safe. Uh, this, this is probably the alternator or generator, right? So the engine spins this to create electricity to go into there to convert it or something like that. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really know electricity much. Definitely not an electrical engineer. Looks like a decent uh, year, I mean, a decent battery, you know what I'm saying? It's not dirty or corroded. It's a full-size car battery, man. 
from Bosch. These things are expensive. These, these things are like 120 bucks, you know? They These things would fit in my uh, Mercedes. That's what Mercedes uses, Bosch. It is Deutsch, German. I, I guess that's a solenoid, right? Yeah, that's a solenoid. Is this the starter? Yeah, that's a starter. Starter solenoid fuel tank. All right, you know, I'm familiar with that. Uh, muffler. So let you know what I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a whirl. Run. That doesn't look like it's much juice. I'm gonna do it to engine start. There's gotta be a choke somewhere, right? Cranks, that's pretty good. Whoa, 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 Holy shit. Holy cow. Started. Holy cow. This uh, little desk light here. Hey, hey, I've got power. Uh, I had power. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah. How about that? Runs great. Runs absolutely great. What a find, man. I'm stoked. So apparently this thing just needed a charge, you know, and to be run once in a while uh, for it to, I mean, I don't know how long it's been sitting and stuff like that in some guy's house, but uh, I mean, he did say it worked, you know, but it was hard to start. Honestly, I mean, it's hard to start because his battery was completely dead, you know, but if you just charge that baby up, I don't see any reason why this thing didn't start. Look, it started. No problem. I mean, it took a few cranks, but I mean, just need the battery to be in tip top shape and this thing runs like a gem man i wonder how much this is worth hey if any of you guys have seen this or know anything about it because i've never seen anything like this uh last night i i tried to look for it online and stuff uh through google and i couldn't really find exactly the same one i saw a lot of old vintage generators and stuff but there's hardly any 
uh, anything on YouTube for it, nothing on Google. I mean, not exactly this one, you know what I mean? But if any of you guys have any insight to this and uh, some information I could have, it would really be useful. It could help me out, you know. Um, of course, now I'm deciding whether or not I want to keep it or not or sell it, you know. Or Give me a, uh, a value, too. How much you guys think this is worth, you know? Anyway, so, uh, man, that's a great find, man. Free home light. 3,600 watt uh, vintage generator. The Bosch 12 volt battery. It's a Kohler engine, 12 horsepower. It's a 47690D. Model number is K301EP. Echo Papa. Kohler Company, Wisconsin. I like Kohler's. I like this better now that it works. It's a beast. See you guys next time.